Well, I wonder if the fame has gone to the heads a bit. Let's begin. Now you might remember a little while ago on Channel 5 there was a programme called Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away which featured High Court bailiffs or sheriffs as are otherwise known. While they're trying to either reclaim money from debts which weren't paid or sometimes turf from people out of their houses it seemed. Well two of those shows bailiffs, Steve Pinner and Paul Bowhill, who quite often actually seems to be the most caring bailiffs on the programme, if such a thing exists that is, are suing their bosses for underpayment according to The Sun, and therefore giving the bailiff company a taste of their own medicine, maybe. Although, in my opinion, I just don't know how successful they'll be because their demands do seem a little, ever so slightly a teeny tiny bit absolutely bloody ridiculous, side if you ask me. The two bailiffs have accused Gary Robinson, the owner of the company Debt Collection Bailiffs Limited, of underpaying them and breaking agreements. According to Mr Pinner, who's 66, and Mr Bowhill, who's 77, they agreed to work for DCBL when the show started in 2014, in exchange for a 20% share of the company's directorships and a 60% cut of featured enforcement work, reports the Mirror. But Mr Robertson has hit back, claiming Mr Pinner and Mr Bohol's claim is not valid. Don't get me wrong, because I'm not trying to side with a bailiff company here, but I mean, why don't they ask for a penthouse office while they're at it? I mean, can you imagine how something like that would have gone down in a job interview? Okay, thanks for coming to the interview. Now, I told you a little bit about the job. I just need to get a rough idea of what salary that you're expecting. Well, not much, really. Just a couple of quid over the minimum wage, I guess. Uh, maybe a car, so I can get from A to B and do my jobs. Maybe actually even a shift allowance so I can have something to eat. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what would be good. Can I have a 20% share of the directorship and also, not forgetting, a whopping 60% cut of any enforcement work featured. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next! Well, I don't know if it's just me, but I guess something like an hourly wage would have been unthinkable, wouldn't it? Although, yes, okay, occasionally there are companies who do pay some sort of commission. And actually, I'm guessing that 60% cut is probably of the profits or extra fees on top of the debt, because how else could they pay the debt to the people who it was owed to otherwise? Either way, though, Common Sense surely would have told them to get something in writing about it, because otherwise, they don't have a leg to stand on, do they? 